So Alexandros T. Great has decided to show me something he found by Brolac, which I'm going to put a link up in the description of this video to his uh, little area. He's a French builder by the looks of it. And I just wanted to show some of these turrets off before I delete them because they're not docking properly at the moment and as such uh, they're causing a bit of lag. But I thought I'd little, have a little poke around first and show you what's going on here. So uh, it's pretty cool, like you can see these. These are uh, gold fighters. Pretty awesome, to be honest. Uh, a lot of detail gone into this to make it look right. Whoa. So anyway, it teleported me away because obviously I was colliding with the turrets that aren't actually docked. So it's having a bit of trouble deciding what is colliding and what isn't at the moment. Um, but yeah, you can see there's a couple of fighters docked with it. Um, I haven't really seen the inside, but that's what I intend to be doing. So, um, unfortunately guys, I've got to delete these turrets because reasons. See? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh dear. Oh dear, he didn't just move it. So, we finally finished removing all of the uh, bits that were hanging off. It's a shame really, but I'm sure that people will go back and fix their epic builds once the uh, docking changes have stabilised. So, this is the... Uh, this is the... Uh, oh god, is that, I think it's a attack. Yeah. And um, we're just going to take a look at it, because it's a beautiful creation from Stargate SG-1. I love the detail he's managed to make the fighters to go with it as well, because they look proper. I don't know if you can really see. I'll have to undock one and take a look at it, but uh, loads of room. So, uh, can we open these doors under here? I love what he's done. He's got There were turrets all over it, and I've had to remove a few, few of them because they were colliding. <coughs> uh, so anyway, we've got some more fighters in here. fires and what looks like a transport. So let's just have a quick look at the transport. Oh boy. Oh! Transport's full of power. Huh? This must be a stealth ship then, do you reckon? That would be cool. don't know if it's possible to do that with this one. Oh! Salvager, weapons computer. No, it's not a stealth ship then. But still, awesome. I just got excited when I saw all the power. Someone's been shooting my ship while I've been away. Turn you back for five seconds. Oh god. Where's the ship gone? Through here. Yes, through here. Is he moving it? Stop. Oh! blocks to light its corridors. That's a good idea, I like it. Oh, gravity! There we go. Wow, it even kind of looks goldy. <laughs> oh god, you don't... yeah. You have to fly out of there, so... Let's have a little look around here. It's gone for those sort of big corridors and stuff here. I like it. The inside's legit. It's, it's just, it reminds me a lot of the TV show. I know it sounds strange because it's not. <laughs> it's not the TV show. Um, but you get a feel that it's a gold ship. Big high ceilings. Oh, what's this over here? <gasps> Whoops! I'm not getting out of here now. Oh dear. Right, let's see if we can do... Jump. No? That didn't work. <laughs> Jump isn't working. Lagging a little bit there. Oh god! 
little look around after I fell down a hole and I had to start again. So uh, let's have a look in here now. We're going to go up to the top. I won't go falling down any access things this time. And then we go. I'm still wearing the red skin because we were just filming the uh, uh, filming in Hangham High. You can see everyone's representing in their Master Chief skins. Oh. That does look awesome. Oh, wow, it fires really cool. That's a funky pattern. Whoa, it really doesn't like me trying to get out of this. There we go. To, I think it might just be the colours and the lighting and the way it's kind of dark and the tall ceilings all put that together and he's managed to pull off the look. And these corners, the way the corners would get lower on the way down, remember it's kind of iconic from the show. We already know that's not a good place to go. Upside down mode. No, this way. Oh, okay, so he's got his entire reactor down here inside, inver inverted, and shield blocks in between. Uh, it's a very clever reactor design. See exactly what he's done here. He's got a very big reactor managed to get into this. Seriously. Whoa, 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 whoa. The ship is moving, so... That means... I need to get out. He's firing. Something tells me he's blowing my ship up. Here comes one click from the attack into the ballistics gel. I think there's two cannons, so he's going to fire one of them. second of fire now according to because of the lag it appears to look it appears like he's firing for longer than a second but it's he's just holding it and then it takes a while for the shots to get there so that's a uh, one second burst and you can see it's exploding outwards and the explosions become less and less as it goes in if you can see the deviation it's coming in bang exploding out and then from here, exploding out less, exploding out less, and then a forking. Okay, so now we're going to go for sustained. So, he's going to go all the way.
and you can see the gold fighter above there. So he's just slowly chewing through this. Um, it seems like the shape, this we weapon's shape, is actually limiting its um, total depth. Um, uh, it might just be the lag, and when he's finished, it'll sort of catch up. That face, it'll just drill through it. But because the guns are actually further, like wider apart, it's now having to cut an even bigger hole. So to make this fair, we might need bigger blast gel, um, because I don't know, it's not really, it's not really um, getting a full pattern from the side there. It is here, so you can see what it would do if it was wider. It would do that exactly the same pattern just here. So you see, he's not quite straight. He's sort of at an angle. And he's slightly pointing down. Oh, jeez. Let's see then. <laughs> he got a bit, he's getting a bit excited with this cannon. <laughs> sounds awesome. I don't know why that sounds so much better. <laughs> okay. One second. Jeez. Okay, that's ridiculous. See, I had a theory about how this is going to work out, and I'm going to be doing more test videos on it soon in the lab, but this is sort of, I'm suspicious. I need to go and check out what that looks like. Okay. Okay, sustained to the core. So yeah, that can that has the penetration power, right? So yeah, as you can see, the pattern is clearly <laughs> the right shape. <laughs> so, so looking at this one, uh, we've got a diamond shape because obviously it is a diamond. We've got a star because the uh, guns are mounted far apart, and it's all training inwards because obviously it auto focuses the fire to the point you're shooting at. All that goes together, um, and it means that half of his DPS is lost because it's not actually hitting the target. It's uh, drilling a new hole in somewhere else on the armor. But then the second gun he has, and this is very shrewd by whoever built this, the second gun he has is basically for penetrating so that he doesn't have to destroy the whole ship, whereas the other thing is for wrecking damage. So yeah, that was uh, the attack. Once again, thanks for watching. Uh, that was a great little Stargate ship. I'll put a link in the description for the builder and uh, come back soon.